two years after people. Off the island of Grenada, bizarre images of mankind stare out from the ocean floor into the endless sea. A concrete man sits at a sunken typewriter, never pressing a key. A bicyclist never moves a muscle. But what appears to be a traditional still life is anything but lifeless. The artist, Jason DeCarries Taylor, designed them so that their lives are only now beginning. The underwater sculpture gardens were designed, in fact, to be habitats for future coral reefs. And so they were made from materials that coral will likely stick to. In the time of humans, statues from ancient Greek and Roman civilizations were often discovered at the bottom of the ocean. Those statues were marble, a mineral soft enough to sculpt, but durable enough to survive centuries underwater. Clean them off, and they sparkled like new. Here, the artist chose to use concrete made of cement, sand, microsilica, and fiberglass, elements which provide a perfect bonding surface for the liquid limestone skeleton being excreted by the coral as it grows. Millions of tiny sea creatures are slowly changing these once human shapes forever. There are thousands and thousands of coral that attach all over it, and very rapidly, actually, only within a few years, some of these statues are already covered. It's very interesting to look at these underwater sculpture gardens already because they really are sort of living a life after people. And only in a matter of a few years, a lot of the sculptures already are beginning to no longer resemble what they originally looked like. One thousand years after people, they used to be sculptures. Now, they are not. Completely covered in undersea growth, the underwater statues look indistinguishable from a vibrant and colorful coral reef. Fish and other marine creatures dart in and around their new reef. Most of the evidence that this home originated as a piece of art is lost forever, just as the artist intended.